from where we have read in the book of Acts chapter number 8 verse 29 we hear about an apostle Philip this man he used to pray God and full of the spirit of the Lord Hallelujah Church of God Amen. that means he, this man called by God to come and preach the gospel allow me to talk under the theme that says never allow your chariot to enter wrong people Never allow your chariot to enter wrong people or to carry wrong people. Yes, thank you very much. You interpreted it very well. Excellent. You are promoted. Amen. Never allow your chariot to carry wrong people. Never allow your chariot to carry wrong people. From where we have read, we hear about an apostle Philip and it was during the persecution time. The disciples were being persecuted all over. Being killed all over. So by so doing, they scattered all around. So Philip was one of them. And from where we have read, in the book of Acts, the Bible says the spirit of the Lord led Philip just to meet an Ethiopian sechario. Ethiopian Sechariot. Hallelujah. A Sechariot, I don't like to machine head man because it's my name. Ne? Say, I will use I will use the word Sechariot. <laughs> so I will use Sechariot. Hallelujah. So this Sechariot, the Bible says, this Sechariot was from Ethiopia. And he decided to attend the church in Jerusalem. And you can see the commitment of this Sechariot. Because from Ethiopia to Jerusalem, it will take you about 2,000 kilometers or 2,600 kilometers using a chariot. That means it's close to a month to drive it. You can see the commitment of a sechariot. But this sechariot decided to visit Jerusalem just for church service. And this Sechariot was not an ordinary person. He was a treasurer to his queen. There was a queen, not a, the queen, the one who was leading, it was a lady. Yes, the king of that place the Ethiopian place. She was a queen. So this man was a treasurer. Being a treasurer, decided to visit Jerusalem. But being unsaved, but he attended the church. That means he was willing to approach God and to know better about God. So 
so one day coming from Jerusalem to Ethiopia that means this Sacherion was going back home and the spirit of the Lord came to Philip being the time of persecution but they were supposed to spread the gospel inside the persecution the spirit of the Lord said to Philip go down in the wilderness go down by this road you will meet a Sacherion from the Ethiopia and immediately Philip decided to go there when he arrived in that particular place he discovered a Sacherion reading a scripture from Isaiah 53 but without understanding what he was reading and when Philip arrived he asked the Sacherion do you understand what you are reading but a Sacherion replied how can I understand without the interpreter I need the interpreter. So look here. The giant step that the Sacherion took. The giant step that the, the Sacherion took. Giant step goes. Hallelujah. It was a giant step. A Sacherion had a revelation of calling Philip to enter in the chariot. Remember, some people passed away. They were passing by. But this Sacherion did not decide to call them to enter the chariot. But when Philip arrived, the Sacherion said to Philip, Please, I welcome to my Sacherion. Come in. And Philip decided to enter the Sacherion. That Sacherion chariot. Inside the Sacherion, that, that chariot, Philip began to interpret everything that the that headman was reading of the Sacherion. He said to the Sacherion, What you are reading about is about Jesus Christ. And the prophet is not talking to himself. But he is prophesying about the coming of Jesus. And from there, the Sacherion said to Philip, Can you baptize me? Because here is a pool. And Philip said to him, only if you believe. You see, the more you put if is conditional. Because only if. That means it's conditional. When you fail to believe, nothing will happen. But when you believe, something is going to take place. So Philip said to Sacherion, only if you believe. And the Sacherion replied and said, I believe in the name of Jesus. From there, Philip baptized the man. And the Spirit of the Lord carried Philip to disappear in that place. Let me say to you, when we look here, we see the transformation that took place. What kind of transformation that took place? Is because the life of the Sacherion has changed. The man was unbeliever, but now is a believer. Is because of the kind of the person who entered the, char the chariot. The person that entered the chariot 
it was not an ordinary person but the anointed man of God full of blessings full of grace full of love so when he entered that chariot the chariot of the Sacharion of Ethiopia the life of this Ethiopian Sacharion changes Church of God some things is not changing in our life because it's determined by the people whom we allow to enter our chariot in life you are in the chariot but this chariot don't allow everyone to enter because when you allow everyone to enter that chariot you will not grow spiritually nothing that will take place upon your life no revelations that you will get no elevations that will take place so for you to be elevated allow good people to enter your chariot your family is a chariot what kind of people that enters your family your family is a chariot what kind of people whom you allow to enter inside your home your life you are in the chariot but don't allow everyone to enter because some are jealous upon you don't allow your chariot to enter everyone don't trust everyone to enter your chariot because while you are inside the chariot you are too there you will able just to speak everything and also tell all the secret find that you are telling your enemy never allow the enemy to enter your chariot try by all means and pray God to see wrong people and right people are we together church of God not to distinguish wrong people and right people no to differentiate them never allow everyone to enter your chariot most of the things in life is destroyed by the wrong people i pray upon thee i pray upon you may the lord help you to see your enemies May the Lord help you to see wrong people. Wherever you go, even if you are asleep, may the Lord show you in the dream. In the name of Jesus, don't allow everyone to enter your chariot because you still have a long distance. You still have a long distance to try them. But wrong people can cut it before you arrive where you are going. I anoint you today to see wrong people before you allow them to enter your chariot. Let me say to you, your life is like you are in the boat. Only if your boat is still with Jonah inside, you will not enjoy because Jonah come with storms. Jonah comes with problems. Jonah comes with different situations that will trouble your life. So for you to be saved, take Jonah, throw him inside the water, in the name 
They made a mistake by taking Jonah inside and put him inside their boat. They were putting trouble inside the boat. Your chariot is so important. Your chariot is so important. Your chariot, Kali. Your chariot is so important. Respect your chariot. And God is blessing that chariot. God is blessing that chariot. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Church of God. Hallelujah, Church of God. Where you are today, start taking everything and offload it. Offload everything. That is not relevant in the chariot of Lord Hedness. Of Lord Hedness. Of Lord Jealous. Of Lord all things that disturb. Because your chariot is blessed by God. It's not easy. To travel 2,200 or 2,000 kilos, come to the church to worship the Lord. Hallelujah, Church of God. So, when God looked the distance, after looking that displacement, God blessed the Sacheri and said, He's winning. I better bless Him. By receiving me as the Lord and Savior. Allow me to promote this Sacharion. Let me say to you. When the Sacharion accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior. That means Ethiopia. Was rich now. Why I say so. Because an evangelist. Is arising. The Ethiopian Sacheri. Because according to my understanding, ah, this Sacherion took the gospel to Ethiopia. Hallelujah, Church of God. Oh, who will take the gospel and give it to your generation? Who is the one in your family? God will stand up and say, I take this gospel to my uncle. I take this gospel to my aunt. I take this gospel to my generation. I take this gospel to my children. I take this gospel to my relatives. I take this gospel to my parents. I take this gospel to my neighbors. I take this gospel to my classmates. I take this gospel to my co workers. Hallelujah, Church of God. Hallelujah. Never allow your, chair, your chariot to enter everyone, to carry everyone, because your chariot is so important. One day Jairus reported to Jesus that my daughter is critical sick, so please come and pray for my daughter. Because she's dying. But some people reported to Jaira. Jaira who is reporting to Jesus. And say, Jaira, stop bothering Jesus. They say, stop bothering Jesus. Your child is no longer sick. 
that is dead. So that means start speaking about the funeral. Start speaking about the tent of the funeral. Start speaking about the grocery in the funeral. Start preparing the funeral. Don't speak about your daughter being here. Because things is no longer good. But I hear Jesus saying to Jairus, Worry not. Your daughter is not dead. But is asleep. I will visit your family. I will visit your family. Let me say to you, the one who reported bad news to Jairus is one of wrong people in the chariot. Are we together, church of God? Are we together, church of God? Jairus is talking to God. The God, the author of life. The healer. The one who raised the dead. But look here. Man from nowhere is saying to Jairus, stop talking to God. Nothing that will happen. It's a spirit of pulling someone down. It's a spirit of demoting someone. But Jesus said to Jairus, I will visit your family. When Jesus arrived in the family of Jairus, he discovered that there is a lot of people mourning in the family, making noise there. And Jesus he decided to take them out. He drove them out. Wow! Wrong people in the chariot. So he drove them out. Even those who were inside the room. Even those who were inside the room. Where the daughter was. Jesus drove them out because it's the wrong people in the chariot. After that, Jesus allowed the three disciples, John, Peter, and James, good people, to enter the chariot. And he also allowed the mother and the father of the daughter good people to enter the chariot. After that, Jesus prayed and said to the daughter, Daughter, Talitakum, arise. The Bible says, she rose again. She rose again. Hallelujah, church of God. When you allow your chariot when you allow your chariot to enter good people, your business will rise again. Hallelujah, church of God. Your faith will grow again. Good people in the chariot. The wedding that has been cancelled, the wedding that has been cancelled, will keep on because right people is now in the chariot. Hallelujah, church of God. Although there is no lobola, even there is no lobola, when good people enter the chariot, lobola will take place. Hallelujah, church of God. Hallelujah, church of God. You are struggling about job right now. Look, look around you, around you, those who surrounded you, who surrounded you there. Hallelujah, Church of God. You will see that you are surrounded by wrong people. People who is saying you will not make it. People who is saying you will die sooner. People who is saying you will not get here. But the more you decide to be surrounded by good people. Good people in the chariot. 
you will have a good result. And Jesus said to the parrot, Here is your daughter. She is now alive. Say, so give her food. Let me say to you, when God help you, He will prepare a table before your enemies. Hallelujah, Church of God. Hallelujah, Church of God. No matter how long you have been crying, God will make it happen in the name of Jesus. Your situation will not change God's way. But God's way will change your situation. Your illness will not change the word of God. But the word of God shall change your illness. It's God Almighty. Hallelujah, church of God. You will make it in the name of Jesus. You will make it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, church of God. You are the church of God. You are the church of God. During the death of Dorcas, the Bible says Dorcas was a cheerful giver. She used to give people what she had without looking or talking about it in the community. But there came a time where she passed away. Hallelujah! Amen. They decided to call Peter just to come and pray for Dorcas. The dead body. When Peter arrived, he drove the people who were there out of the house. He drove them out. Because it's the wrong people in the chariot. After this, Peter prayed. Kabita arise. And the Bible says, Dorcas rose up again. Church of God, you seems dead. You, you seems dead. But let me say to you, when right people enter your chariot, something will take place. Your family seems dead. But when right people enter your chariot, something good will take place. A simplest way that I will show you. The simplest way that I will show you is that allow your pastor to enter your chariot. This Ethiopian chariot allowed Pastor Philip to enter the chariot. Some of you, you are doing things. You don't even like to include your pastor. And your pastor is coming to pray and break the stronghold that is destroying your life and something that is hindering you to go forward. But did you include your pastor inside your chariot? Your pastor inside your chariot is so important. Because he is the only man who gets the that is given the revelation that is relevant to your life. There are a lot of pastors around Malam Land. But they are not called for you. The one that calls for you is your pastor who is leading you. Because God trusted your pastor to pastor you. So allow your pastor to enter your chariot. When you plan about wedding, don't plan it and exclude your pastor. Include him. Something will take place. This is a protocol. It's the order of doing things. Do you include your pastor inside your chariot? No. Do you include your pastor inside your chariot? 
There are a lot of things that is being done by the members of the church. But the pastor is not informed. Why? And mind you, and mind you, the chariot is still have a long time, long way to drive him. Nobel. Let Se aku ngeni nanta wa shikwembu aka kalichi yabo. Loko ni suka shikwembu shisala shiba horis. Loko basala basala basheketa kulanza nanta wa shikwembu. Luya shikwembu shinga mutirisa ande ni kakalichi. Mataba mwami hanya inga eseta maimi ende na chumu shakasha. Balangu se ngwalangu. Mungo akuna shakasha mfundi smasha wanga tamaba miende lana. Mwani mjeku loko kwa mfundisi masha baba kantuwa ya mariji. Bangwani kunga ranga mwimu oosha kwa. Usama na wala nga batemba kuku oosha wana riji. Loko nimi langu sae kotana. Hampi inga wula wula angi. Marantala niku niku eya. Kuhosha na wena riji. Kuhosha marijai kuteka mariji la waya maliterali just to stone someone. Munu wa hosha mariji na emaritu la wa ama bula bula aku. Iku hosha tela mariji. Aka nanza wa shikwe imu. Kali chila muna runa bama. She chaps and go up is so horrible. It's terrible. Because you will find some chariot of the Christians. Having some some pastors from overseas inside, but the local church is not there. The local church pastor. Mara kadi chia ya na ina ba fundi siwele ka TV. Ani ni aleri kuye di salari tu ka TV. Ani mara mi dalwa ni fundi swa muna lo mi kaka na ina matsi kuwa. Umani ni message mi kato na di fundi swa muna ba mi don di sa aku mi kula mi amatu. Mara shupi alaka ku kalichi yangu ina yina ba fundi swa mati kumele hand. Mara mfundi swa shaba abako na kakalichi. Uman waskota na kuya aya deposita ten thousand ka account. Ani kela ba fundi swa le hand. Mara luwa yena wala kaya luo loko tipi ini ya ranga ku Afrika ni le kusim. Na pena ni sisi samau ni. Isu owa ba kune ni mara anu watoshi. Sekuna man ante ni kakalichi. Iva man lava ngele ni kama kalichi. Bangwan makalichi lava ngele kawona. Sorry anuuli mwina lava kulu. Lava tongo nyana lava. Makalichi lava mana baba nuna baba nula ante ni lai. Aka harisha shikwe busi ntu wakuni. Rina mani kalichi laya. Unwan kalichi ya yena kupumele lunganga ingena. Mutuluwa kuna nganga ifambisa kumutuluwa. Hiyo imo naku. Nalo kupuwa foundation kui nganga ya ima imu. Nalo kusue skula kupele luwa luangu. Kuna nganga yele shuhunte ni yaku ya ima imu. Miteki sangoma mi ingenisa. Ante ni kalichi. Mara shuhuse kusuya hele la kui. But the secherion chariot. 
That was a blessed chariot. Why? Riri ya shiki sama ungu malama nene a ifopi. Ene na yena akotu kusaise. It's a long time we have been suffering for me for couple of years. Struggling to get breakthrough. But nothing happened. Today is your day to understand or to see what was taking place. Because to see is to understand. To see is to realize. To see is to make sure. To see is to perceive in the spiritual reality. Hallelujah, Church of God. Amen. So get rid of wrong people inside the chariot. Hallelujah, Church of God. Amen. Chase them out. Allow Jesus to enter your chariot. Something good will take place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The problem ikungeni sabano akali chini. Buku ya Yobo yina 42 wati buku. Mara ka 42 wati buku. Shikwebu shimulawuli ka ti buku ta sikisi tsele. Mwimi tiba ku met 42 minus 6 kusala tinga. Shikolo fi simbolo. 42 isusa sikisi. Kusala tinga. Kusala. Vamos ver 38, vamos ver 36, não tem cai. 36. Minha mana 36, an. Se a ca 42 wati book, se quem se ouvir lá lá casa que se wati book o tsel. 36 wati book, a cu vula vula eu obo na banca na baie. Mas a vi bem mas digo para o lado é. Akuribani, lava awaruku bula bule. Bangwani, akurula boso la yobo baku udohini. Bangwani, siso hapa namba kuku bula buri waku sola niwa, kulumbeta niwa kwenye ndoa. Yobo hapa laku umanya nanteli ni shikwe bushi pashi mubuti sakuwani ku. Wa loponi tumbu nusham saba urikona na. Wa shikwa kuti puputinga ni tinga imi samsa. Matiba shikwe mshi zashi umelela, shikula bula na yobo shirinde ni kashi uuri. Suku siti kashi. The book letter that thirty six. Manu kwe kamwe na aku bula bula van. Malempe la wamota la minga mahanya kupe la wamenga na wol. Imato ngo shikwe bushinga bula bul. Mara la wamanguan aku bula bula mwe na miriku kungule na van. Lava ababa bula bula mwe na na ku milasekis. Kama lempe la wamenga mahanya mto mwe njangwe. Shikwe bushi bula bula kanga. Your chariot. Hallelujah. Your chariot. Matase shtikeli sa na shufule shingele kukoke ni kakalichi. Hi makaya kuba nlava ngangena. Hey, seba tiki sa na kalichi. Ena avoti sa chumu so atu. Ti probleme tseno. Kumunu atafa malembe menge sefika. Kungeni ba man kaka lichiramu. Pelo kama zami ba na shichele kuna luanga ngeni kaka lichiramu. Lua miti sela kuti mag. Mita zonda tiku ikuwa raganda na ndir kasi ai akali chini kungeni ba nbarong. Rifa ba shuma kerekea husi. Matiba unwani abu la unbona kumfundis. Nimitu mungu michuma ila kumwani. Mithamseta kubangwani kubalo verwe. Batuari. Vana bako bafe. Bati tika bati hangalasa. Aku minani ofe niti uyetela. Nisungula kwa anyabu tunu. Aku sheshu. Nina shitanti ningele kushimakeni. Aku nama zingi. Wala wa anikomba kumamabona. Butomi zami jiveli jichichela makumuse ni munu. Hiritu lira mgari chuma ili. Kukomba kuritu. Rashe kamunu. Se shukula kulopaka hanya kutomi zezia Zoku te hangalas Aku fumaleka mundu anga tangena Ante ni kakali chiraye Angu jela kumwana anga leshu rongo Leshu nga raiti ilishu Venge mi jeli vanu Mingata umelela 
mingata nyuka, mingata takuka, ba miela na shone. Ba no hampi kwa kuna mitiru, haba talangu angata mje kukatholi wa kwe. Hai, mitafuka minuati ya mfana na boni. Mfana mitupeka, mfana mihanya ya kukompela, mikisa makisa makawona, shinga hei. Amen. Most of the people is struggling today because of the people inside the chariot. People inside the chariot. What kind of people are there to uplift you or to pull you down? Hallelujah. Go away from the people who is coming just to demote you. Hallelujah, Church of God. Amen. But click yourself to the people that is coming to promote you. This will profit you. Amen. 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 it again. Amen. 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 When you see your children behaving in the strange way, you must know and understand that their chariot is now behaving wrong people. But when you see your children behaving well and pleasing your life, you must know and understand that their chariot entered good people. Because now you will see the transition upon your children. Hallelujah, Church of God. What kind of people inside your chariot? Because the people inside the chariot determine your destination. Let us stand up on our feet. My chariot. The Sacheron chariot entered Philip, a man full of the Spirit of the Lord. And that Spirit, contingent to the Ethiopian Sacheron, contingent to the are we together church of God the Holy Spirit is here to contingent upon your life only if you believe your chariot will never be the same in the wonderful name of Jesus I just want us to pray all of us and say God I did a mistake without knowing by taking everyone enter my chariot because I was not aware that the chariot is so important and I don't have to allow everyone to enter help me oh God and show me wrong people in the chariot because I don't like to get rid of good people. But wrong people. May the Lord help you to go and select the right amongst the wrong. Hallelujah, Church of God. Hallelujah, Church of God. Are we ready to pray? 
check your chariot. Lokumalifi <laughs> Lokuru kuna vanu varongo kakali chiravuto mjamina Aba umi Nlava kungena vanu varaitu Lava ngatasi ya vachichi uto mjamina Jirika position ni mwanyani Kukubana kuchicha Aka uto mjamina Ay kongele ni kwerukai Let us pray all of us Ay kongele ni shikwe mshifuni Makatara ndarabashi Kotere ndarebe sikati